A history-making event came to an end in Austin tonight. The 50th anniversary of the signing of the Civil Rights Act was celebrated, and tonight photojournalist Brian Bell brings us some inspiring sights and sounds of this summit. We shall overcome. The story of America is a story of progress. And that's true because of men like President Lyndon Baines Johnson. He decided to form a more perfect union. And so should we. I stood behind him and watched America changed forever. I was privileged to be an eyewitness to history. The two most transformative figures in American political history are Abraham Lincoln and Lyndon Baines Johnson. My fellow citizens, we have come now to a time of testing. When challenged, he responded, well, what the hell's the presidency for? Every generation of Americans will look back at the Civil Rights Act and say, this is what the presidency is for. He refused to live on the laurels of the past. He said, there's much work to be done, and I am so thrilled that that's going to be what's happening at the Civil Rights Summit. This is the defining civil rights issue of our present time. We are going to be there, like it or not. There are certain principles in life that never change, and that has to be the bedrock for our existence. With enough effort and enough empathy, and enough perseverance and enough courage, people who love their country can change it. A lot of emotion, passion, and celebration there. And Judy was on the front lines of this thing from the very beginning. She was there every day covering all of this. Any takeaways for you tonight? So many takeaways. It was very memorable. The president gave an, a, a very passionate speech about LBJ, and I think it touched a lot of people, no matter what your political persuasion. And of course, just seeing these history-making civil rights leaders, the oh, people yeah. that are on the front lines at the very beginning, reliving that turbulent time in our history, that was amazing. But I have to say, hearing gospel legend Mavis Staples, she just heard her belt out, we shall overcome, and watching the audience today lock arms, sway and sing along, it really brought tears to my eyes. I'm retiring from TV news at the end of next month, so I truly relished every single moment covering such an historic event, and it was on our home turf.